Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. Um, in the interest of getting these videos out more quickly, uh, I'm going to be changing a few things here when it comes to Zodiacs. Uh, I'm going to be making the videos a little bit shorter. I had a lot of people kind of complaining that the videos were too long. So there will be an extended available over in Patreon. Uh, rather than make you pay for every single um, extended, I've created a, a Patreon link in the description box below where for just $4.44 a month, you can get all 12 extendeds. And it's much cheaper than the Vimeo thing. So um, I'm doing things a little bit different. Like I said, this month, I was guided by spirit to include finances and career because we are entering into a new uh, calendar year as far as the Zodiac calendar year and or astrological calendar year. So I am going to take a look for the month of April of finances and career. Um, I've got two cards, the original card and clarifiers. And then we're going to take a look at love and romance. I've got some oracles for you. Um, the bottom of the deck is the general theme for the month of April. This is for the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, if you would like to book a personal private reading, everything you need is in the description box below. And um, I am so grateful to have you guys here. If you're a returning viewer, you guys are my rock. I totally couldn't do this without your love and support. And I am so grateful for you. I hope you're having a very blessed uh, month of April. I'm hoping April is the best for everybody. Happy birthday, Aries. I love you guys. Um, make sure you do something special for yourself. Take care of yourself. Do something fun for your birthday. If you're a new viewer, uh, welcome to the tribe. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I've got a little bit of allergies going on guys. So if you hear me all nasally, I apologize. So we're just going to see what spirit brings us for this month. I wanted to include uh, fin finances and career. So is there anything else I need to tell you? No, nope, I don't think so. I think we're just going to keep these short. So welcome Aries. Let's take a look at your finances and career. For the month of April, we've got the Ten of Cups. That's always awesome. We have the Five of Cups. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So what I'm seeing for you in the month of April is that it looks like something very positive is shifting for you. Look, I got a big fat card, or not cardinal. Um, oh shit, I can't think of the name of it. Anyhow, there's a really beautiful bird outside my window. So finances and career, I mean, you can't get much better. It looks like things might have been or, or, or are currently, because I look at the middle card as your current bottom of the deck for finances career is the six of swords and underneath that is the king of wands so it looks to me like currently there could be something going on or an ongoing thing there's a lot of emotions around your finances right now or your career maybe maybe you lost your job maybe you know um, money's been scarce but there's something here in the past that is in your your current energy as you're focused on the past. And spirit is telling me that, you know, things are about to shift, big time shift. And abundance is coming. And this doesn't feel like money so much as fulfillment in your career. All right, we're going to take a look at the clarifiers, but it does look like wherever you were unhappy, unfulfilled is about to change, right? Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups. And move into calmer waters because of something that you're going to take control of. You're going to create something new. 
You're going to make a huge decision, possibly. This is leadership quality. You know, the King of Wands makes things happen. So let's clarify these. Clarifying the Eight of Cups is, or the Nine of Cups is the magician. Beautiful energy. I was picking that up with that King of Wands, right? This is making something happen. This is the universe telling you that you have all the tools that you need to make a difference, to make a change. A change is big in the month of April. If you've been in an unfulfilling job, or perhaps you've been being nudged by spirit to make a change, to change careers or start something new, <clears throat> or even apologize, you know, if you're having an outing with somebody at work, you know, where you maybe you had a, a fallout, you and your boss had words, or maybe you just are unfulfilled. Let's clarify the Five of Cups. Oh, we've got the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I did notice underneath this King of Wands when I picked it up as the Two of Pentacles. So this is using your masculine and feminine energy. So, you know, and it could be an argument if you are in a business with a spouse because the King and Queen of Wands can be, you know, husband and wife, a counterpart or just a partner. It just feels like whatever energy you're currently in, intuitively, you know that something needs to, to change, right? Because the Five of Cups is always about the past. It's always about the past. Loss, regret. What is clarifying the Wheel of Fortune is the Ace of Pentacles. There you go. We're finally getting some money in this reading, right? So to go from the Two of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles with that Wheel of Fortune just tells me in the month of April, if you take control, if you trust your intuition, if you're confident and you manifest change, your finances are, and it is an Ace, so it's something new. It's literally, I'm hearing, it, you know, if you... The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting change, expecting a different outcome. So because this is a general reading, it could be anything for each of you. But the good news is that whatever was not fulfilling and possibly even sad, or, or if you lost your job, using the creative energy of fire, right? You're an airy sign, guys. Come on. You're showing up in your own reading. You have all the tools that you need to balance your finances, to move things into calmer waters, right? To take yourself out of whatever this five of cups is and create the change that you want with this magician energy, king and queen of wands energy, to create something brand new that is going to be so much more emotional fulfilling. Now, we don't have the Ten of Pentacles, so it's not like you're going to win the lottery or inherit a bunch of money in the month of April. But you've been getting nudges from spirit to create change because something is very unfulfilling. So take control of your finances. Uh, trust your intuition. Your dreams can come true but they're not going to fall into your lap in the middle of April, right? Or in the month of April, you're going to have to actually do the work. You're going to have to balance out your masculine, feminine energy. Feminine energy is being creative and designing it and thinking it up and desiring it. And the masculine energy is taking the steps necessary to fulfill it, to make it happen, to create it, to be a leader. And the queen of wands is extremely intuitive and she is, confident, magnetic, right? She, so, you know, the magician needs both masculine and feminine energies because you have to be able to manifest, magnetize, bring towards you what your wishes are. But the masculine energy is taking the steps and actions necessary to do so. So great energy for the month of April for my Aries. 
Um, this is not something, well, it could be destiny, right? It's destined change, but it's not destined change like a windfall. This is something you're going to have to manifest. It's something that you're being asked to make a choice about with the Two of Pentacles. So if you choose well, everything's going to change and you've got a brand new beginning, the new seed that's sitting right here on the table. All right, good news. So let's take a look at love and romance. Remember, I'm going to go much deeper into this over on Patreon. It's only $4.44. So if you're interested, go check it out. The link is in the description box below. <clears throat> now we're going to take a look at love and romance. Your general theme for the month of April is the devil, guys. So we're going to get a little deeper into this and try and figure out what this devil is all about. So your first card here is the Knight of Swords. I'm just going to get your clarifiers out. Clarifying that Knight of Swords is the Ace of Wands. Okay. So somebody could be rushing in um, with communication and the Ace of Wands. It could be passion. It could be a booty call, right? Um, especially with the Devil card. When you get the Devil and the Ace of Wands together, that could be a booty call or, or a passionate romantic gesture. Uh, but it is very driven by desire. All right. And, and if you're dealing with somebody that has toxic behaviors, you know, be careful of this Knight of Swords because Knight of Swords doesn't think things through, right? He's just fast. <laughs> He's like, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. But this is communication. This is, you know, somebody that's got something to say, something on their mind. Maybe even very um, obsessive. Maybe they've been obsessing about something that they want to say about a, a new beginning. Because aces are new beginnings. Let's look at the next row. Uh, we have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Two of Wands. So that's not bad. Let's get your last card here. The King of Cups, clarified by the Six of Swords. So you got the Six of Swords in both areas. So just a, a side note for anybody who is in a partnership where finances are like, like if you work with your spouse, that could be a side note here with this card matching this one up here um, and having the king and queen of wands. If, if that resonates, take it. But it's telling me that, you know, at least one of you could be in a partnership or making money with your spouse. And maybe you had an argument or something. I don't know. But take what resonates. Things can change, but you're going to have to manifest it. Now, for those of you that aren't dealing with finances in your love life, what it looks to me is <clears throat> so I because it's a general reading, I'm going to read it a couple different ways for you guys. And I would like you to discern with your own intuition which one resonates with you. But for some of you, what I'm seeing here is that, you know, there could have been a relationship that was just not really healthy, obsessive. And it really feels to me like a, a group of you are leaving behind a devil, a devil energy. You're leaving behind um, there could have been words, uh, somebody, because there's definitely a walking away here. Walking away from eight cups toward your nine cups. It's funny how they're playing together here. So for some of you, I do believe your finances and career are interwoven in your love life. Um, but I'm sure that's not everybody. But it feels to me like there could have been some harsh communication, something that came in quickly, um, 
which is creating this, or you could have even, oh my God, I'm getting a lot of downloads. Okay, one storyline at a time, Spirit. All right, first of all, let's deal with the asshole because I do see some of you guys are dealing with an asshole, okay? Somebody who comes in and out of your life, somebody who, who one minute is planning the future with you, the next minute they're ghosting you, walking away, non-communication, they come in with this, this hot, fiery, passionate communication. And like I said, talk about the future and then boom, the next minute they're gone. Right. And we have the King of Cups. So you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Don't have to be. But this is somebody who, <clears throat> who doesn't display their emotions, but they have emotions that run very deep. And with the Six of Swords, it tells me that, you know, somebody in this situation, whether it's you or them, wants to, to like apologize or move things into a better direction, fix things. Um, I want advice on that. Okay, for those who are dealing with an asshole, somebody who's in and out, unreliable, hot one minute, cold the next, not cold, just non expressive. Okay. Tell me about that story. What is the block for that story? What's the biggest block? What's going on here? What's the biggest block? So we have, oh, WTF, ground yourself to understand the chaos. So this person could be going through something. You could be going through something that's like a tower moment. And um, then we have mask off. The true self is being projected to the outside world. So if, oh, and we have, it's too late to apologize. I was feeling that. I feel like, you know, I feel like this person comes in and out of your life. They've, they've got some toxic behaviors, um, but there's a lot of passion, a lot of passion between you guys. Um, you were really trying to plan a future with this person. But it feels like you could just be walking away, right? Um, I want to know more about this King of Cups. Let's get this other deck. No. Spirit said no. Okay, I'm going to leave the devil here. And I'll use this deck. Clarify this King of Cups for the outcome for the month of April. And love and romance. Clarify this king of cups. Oh, the world. Yes. So regardless, and the lovers on the bottom of the deck again. So we've got the lovers and the devil. Okay. It's the same couple, same energy. But this is toxic or this is not healthy. Right. And this is. This is releasing yourself, unchaining yourself from somebody. And so I'm going to stick with that storyline. Because we got underneath the deck here, we've got it's too late to apologize. You don't need an apology. The best closure is moving forward on your path, which it looks like you're doing. Or they are. Somebody is. Because we've got an ending here. And this King of Cups is like the main character. It's the only really court card we have here other than the knight of swords but i feel like the knight of swords is behavior it's immature behavior it's somebody who says things they don't mean who literally doesn't think through their communications and they come in hot hot and then they leave and it feels to me like you're done with this behavior now this could create change for the future but in the month of April, you're putting an end to the cycle is what it feels like. It feels like you're putting an end to the cycle. You're done. You're like, I want a healthy relationship. Yeah, and underneath that's the death card, right? The death card with the ten of swords. But it is going to create space in the future for new love. So if you feel like you're dealing with somebody that... Um, is making you feel obsessed or chained to them, 
right? Sometimes we meet people and the passion is so strong that we kind of allow ourselves to get lost in their energy. Now, what do I mean by lost? It's where you don't know where you begin or where, where they begin and you end. It's all you can think about. You obsess all day long, you know, about them. Where are they? What are they doing? Why aren't they communicating? Because I do see communication comes in, but it's not, for whatever reason, it's not what you want to hear. There's not enough expression of their emotions, but the emotions are there. King of Cups, right? Emotions are there. So if you walk away and focus on your own future, focus on the, the future that you want to create, walk through that gateway, this is going to create some more balance and stability in your life. And it's also going to manifest Ace of Cups with the lovers. Um, but you need to either end a cycle because with the world, it could just be a cycle. You and this person could make up in the future. Um, you'll pretty much know if you're done, done, done. If you're done, poke me with a fucking 10, 10 of swords done. Walk away, done. Move away, done. World card, done. Then you know that it's done. Now, if you also know that this is something that, that this is a cycle that happens with this person, if you know that this person is your true love, right? Because death can be transformation. It can be a new beginning, it can be an, the end of a cycle. Because there's good energy here. There are feelings here. But only you can decide. And underneath this Ace of Cups is the Queen of Swords. You get to choose. You get to choose. And it doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's, you know, the Queen of Cups is, or the Queen of Swords is somebody who puts up healthy boundaries and chooses what they will tolerate and what they won't. All right. So I'm going to get you, uh, and again, I want to say WTF. There could have been some words. Um, this person might have ghosted you. This could be their energy walking away. You know, maybe you don't understand. You're like, God, I have feelings for this person. I can feel that they have feelings for me. And yet I don't understand. You know, they come in hot and heavy and then they leave unexpectedly. And so it could be WTF. Like, I just can't do this anymore. And you might have had that conversation, mask off the true self is being projected. You might have had that conversation and said, I'm done, Queen of Swords. This behavior is no longer tolerant or tolerable. And so I'm creating change by disconnecting my energy and possibly ending this for good or ending it just for a cycle. Because we do have, it's too late to apologize. You don't need an apology. The best closure is moving forward on your path. Um, under that, we have time to celebrate. So I do feel that regardless of whether this is over for you and you're moving forward into your future, we do have aces. We got the ace of cups, the ace of wands. We've got, we're getting rid of the devil and, and producing a lover, the lovers with the ace of cups. So good news good news either way. If you decide to just like phew, be done with this person, queen of swords, 10 of swords, then that's what free will is all about, right? Moving into moving yourself, learning your lessons and moving forward. <clears throat> it's a Robin guys. I couldn't think of the name of the bird. Big fat Robin too. Holy crap. He literally landed on a little tiny twig and I think it's like bent way down. <laughs> it's a good sign though, because it's been cold here, ready for spring. The robins are returning. All right, let's get you your oracles. Um, I'm using um, the, what's it called? Enchanted map oracle cards for your main advice. 
and I'm going to read from the guidebook. I am taking reversals. This deck is, is uh, designed for reversals. So we'll do that one last. First, we're going to take a look at who we have, your higher self, spirit. So you're very divinely guided. I see change in the month of April, change in your love life, change in your finances and career. It just looks to me like things are looking up. Things are getting better. You're taking control of your life. You're taking control of your finances. You're making decisions to clear out old energy and create new energy, wheel of fortune in the world. Trust your higher self, okay? Tap in to that inner knowing and trust it. And your higher self is always located in your heart, not in your mind. Your heart will always be your compass and be able to guide you in the six of swords that you have in both cards or both areas. All right. Uh, let's see. That goes there. Next, we have relationships. Yeah, I feel for some of you, your finances could be very interwoven in your love life. Um, but like I said, that may not be for everyone. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. And I do believe you're facing a choice when it comes to your relationship this month. You get to create what you want. If this person's acting like the devil, you know, sometimes you can alter their behaviors just by not participating, by kind of using that queen of swords energy to draw a line in the sand and say, you know, that's it. I can't do this anymore. You're in, you're out, you're in, you're out. Um, I need you to be, I need more is what I'm hearing. I need more, more expression. But I do believe that this person has feelings for you. Either that or you're going to meet somebody because I do see that for some of you too, that you're ending a cycle with one person, which could be this, this Knight of Swords and starting a new cycle that is going to be much less chaos in the future, possibly with a King of Cups. So take what resonates. All right, let's see. Love and romance. Ooh, calling in your soulmate. I told you some of you guys need to just end it with anybody that's toxic. If somebody's not treating you the way you deserve to be treated, it's time for you to just know your self-worth, love yourself, trust your higher self, and move away from that person because that creates space. Energy is a, you know, is a vortex. So if your energy is full and your heart is full with somebody that's not really on board or treating you the way you deserve to be treated, then ending that creates space for calling in your soulmate. Now, if this is somebody that you know is your soulmate and you've been dealing with this behavior for a while, then you can end this devil behavior by taking a stand, by creating change, okay? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And there's that magician energy. All right, next we have acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah, it does feel like big, big changes for you guys in the month of April. Changes changed. Let's just call the theme big changes for Aries in finances and in love. Um, and all of it for the better. All of it. I don't want anybody leaving this reading thinking, you know, poor, poor, pitiful me with this five of cups. Because remember where you focus your attention with intention and, and feelings, you create more of, and you are in this magician energy. So if you want to create the nine of cups and you want to create a better love life, right? If you want to get rid of the devil and transform your love life, then you need to end a cycle or completely end the relationship. And everything does happen for a reason because we're making room for possibly somebody new, or we're creating change in this dynamic that this person, you know, when they see that you're not going to tolerate it anymore and that you're, you're giving kind of an ultimatum, then that could create change. They could possibly come back later, but I don't see it here. You know, maybe come back and look in May. 
All right, we have, ooh, secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. And I do see that with this King of Cups, right? I don't know who this King of Cups is. This We're going to go deeper in, in the extended. But this King of Cups has deep feelings. They're just not expressing them. So this could be somebody on the that's not even on your radar, right? You could be ending this relationship over here with this devil, and the death card and the ten of swords and then somebody steps forward and says you know i have feelings for you because now there's space for them and they can come in right you can manifest them all right so we're going to get your uh enchanted map oracle card uh it's in reverse it's the number 22 it says intention i will be reading from the book because it's a new deck <clears throat> and I want to use it appropriately the way the creator intended. So I want to show you the artwork. It is master number 22. Okay. Changes and choices. And we're in the year 2022. Big change and choice energy for the entire year. So we have a owl holding on making wishes. We do have wish fulfillment on the board with the dandelion. We have an egg of potential and it says intention, but it's in reverse and you have the magician. So I think spirit's giving you a message that you need to set your intentions. You need to focus on what you want to create and kind of get out of an energy of lack, right? With this um, five of cups, you got to get out of that energy of feeling a little self-pity, which everybody does and your emotions are true and valid. You're allowed to have them. You're just not allowed to create from them, right? You don't judge them. You don't attach the story. You just express them and let them go and then do what needs to be done. Let's read the card. So deliberate, clear intentions have the power to change your world, the world says in the reversed are you clear about your intentions or or are you in a foggy state of denial about your true motives and or ambitions this is a time to step back and gain perspective and clarity about your direction check your motives and ask if they are if they are sincere are you pursuing some goal blindly without asking its cost good intentions are being misinterpreted now is a time for self-evaluation, self-nurturing, self-love. You will benefit greatly if you take time out to regroup and set your intentions. Okay? All right, guys. This has been your reading for the month of April. Let me know if you like this format better than the way I was doing it before. Um, and I will see you over in Patreon. If you're interested, I'm going to go much deeper. I'm going to take a look at finances and career a little more deeply. I'm also going to take a look at this love situation because this WTF and it's too late to apologize is very telling. So um, we're going to take a look at whether this is the same person that you're, you're dealing with when they come, you know, if they're going to come back, because transformation can be somebody changing their behaviors. Um, or if this is out with the old and in with the new, um, I will get you guys some love messages from your person. And I will also get you uh, some love songs and some shadow work. We're going to look at shadow work in order to get these intentions in the right place. Okay, just remember... You are calling in a soulmate one way or the other and a brand new beginning in finances and career. All right. I love you guys and I'll see you over on Patreon. Namaste.